For BWYellowJackets.com, I'm Brendan Gulick, joined by one of our brightest stars, Danny Rupel, for the second year in a row, an academic All-American on the men's soccer field. Danny, we're awfully proud of what you've done on the field, but certainly in the classroom as well. This is a, a super cool honor. Uh, congratulations to you and your family. Thank you. So, considering the fact that this isn't the first time we've had a chance to sit down and talk to you about this, um, I would imagine that in some ways this is still sinking in that you've done it a second time, and yet you know what it takes to get to this level. How much of your goals that you set individually for yourself at the beginning of the year, how much was this on your radar to try to achieve this again? Um, of course it's always on my radar uh, since I achieved it last year, but just moving forward I knew I would have tougher classes this year, so I focused more on my academic portion of uh, the achievement, but um, of course you always got to get better and help the team, so moving over the summer I continued to train, played more soccer, like the higher professional level with uh, Cleveland SC and then just keep moving forward. I definitely want to ask you about Cleveland SC too because that was a, a really neat experience. Uh, but before we kind of jump to that, specific to the team this year, I know you guys missed out on the OAC tournament uh, and that was certainly disappointing for you. But I, I felt like there were times this year where you could see some noticeable growth on the team. Where do you felt, uh, or I should say, where do you feel that this team took steps forward this year? I just think being resilient, I think the year before and my freshman year, when we got uh, punished or we started losing, we kind of just put our head down. And this year, we kind of just fought back, and we weren't going to settle for um, just going down easy. I think we were a lot more resilient and persevered when, it, when things got tough. Danny owns a couple school records from years past. He also broke a couple more this year. Uh, just to make sure I don't, I don't say those incorrectly for you, uh, at the end of the season, led the team with 14 goals, 10 assists, and 38 points. Uh, this year, the two school records that he broke, single season shots, he took 85 shots this year, and he broke the career points record now with 105. You already have the single season uh, scoring record and assist record, so you've been able to accomplish a lot through the first 57 games that you've played. And I realize that there are still some goals you have set out there for you, but knowing that you have been able to accomplish quite a bit on the field, where does that sit with you in terms of what you've done so far and, and what you still hope to do? Um, to me it means a great deal, but it's all in the past and i just got to keep moving forward. i still got a year left, so I mean, I'm mean i not going to cherish everything that I've done so far. Um, when Reed and I first talked recruiting-wise, he talked about our legacy because I already had Reed as a club coach. So um, Reed and I were pretty familiar with each other and he knew what I could do, so just sitting down his biggest question to me when I was coming here was, what do you want your legacy to be? Danny's only the second player in program history to achieve academic All-American twice. And depending on how things go next year, certainly the opportunity there to potentially do it a third time uh, if you're blessed with good health and, and continued success for sure. Um, but beyond the collegiate game, you mentioned playing for Cleveland SC. I know that was a really cool experience for you. How did that help you grow as a player here on campus? It was an amazing experience because everyone there on the team was has so much talent and could play, and I just learned so much from everyone there. I came in kind of not expecting much or much playing time, and I just kind of absorbed everything from the older players who have played professionally and guys that play at a high professional level or still play like D1, D2. So. It was just a good mixture of guys, and I learned a lot. Do you have uh, aspirations or hopes to continue playing uh, either for that club or for another one? Hopefully. I, um, it's down the road, but I hope hopefully to be playing one uh, one day. Since this is an academic recognition, uh, on top of what you've done athletically, I'd, I'd love to learn a little bit more about the accounting side of things. A 3.92 GPA, you're going to take the spring uh, – to basically go through your internship and, and dive into what you think life is going to look like for you after soccer. Uh, how did your internship come about and, and what do you hope to experience with it? So uh, during during the season, uh, around September, October, we brought in around 52 firms, I think, accounting firms and finance firms at Meet the Accounts Night and they were just uh, looking to recruit interns for the spring because it gets pretty busy around then for audit and tax season. So I I came about uh, Cohen and Company, 
uh, I was really interested in them, so I followed along the, inter uh, the recruitment process and then ended up getting an audit internship with them in the spring, so I'll be full-time with them January through April. Awesome. That's terrific. I, I know there is, uh, in a lot of ways, lots of these kinds of firms look at collegiate athletes because they have a certain competitive drive, they understand what it means to be working in a team environment. How much of your interview process, your recruitment process, was based around your experience as a student athlete here? A lot, I think they talked about a lot, um, especially since I was going for an audit internship, they talk a lot about being a team and how you would address like team situations if one person is slacking or um, how to like rally everyone together to push forward. So. It was uh, pretty similar to what I've been experiencing here as captain this year. So, we could touch cool. on a lot of cool subjects and experiences. Uh, we're super excited to, to see what not just uh, your academic experience here this spring has for you, but certainly uh, next year as well. And without getting too far ahead of ourselves, um, uh, an opportunity here within just uh, potentially a handful of goals and a handful of assists, you could be the all-time leader in, in career numbers as well. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to watch Danny play soccer or the Yellow Jackets as a team for that matter, it's a fun group. They play extremely hard and uh, next, uh, next fall is going to be here before you know it. The, uh, the months tend to fly by. So good luck with your training, good luck with the internship, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again next fall. All right, thank you. All right. Baldwin Wallace has 113 academic All-Americans. That is 12th most among D3, uh, D3 colleges all across the country, something we're very proud of here uh, in Berea. And Danny Ruppel, the latest example of the Yellow Jackets that achieve both at a high level on the field and in the classroom. Congratulations to Danny and his family. We'll see you next time on BWYellowJackets.com.